On English presents second conditional. If you want to be fluent in English, you must learn your conditional structures. They are used so frequently in the language that you simply cannot go without them. So, prepare yourself to get familiar with one of the most recurrent subjects that matter for you to communicate well. Please keep in mind that first conditional describes possible or probable situations in the present or in the future, together with threats and warnings. Now, observe this other sentence. It talks about a present or future situation that is imaginary. Second conditionals describe unreal, imaginary situations that haven't happened yet. We use the second conditional to talk about hypothetical situations in the present or future, or as a way to give advice to people. Here are more examples. Don't forget that, despite the fact that you are using past simple tenses, you are actually imagining situations in the present or in the future. Attention! In order to emphasize the fact that the situation is hypothetical, use if I were, if he were, if she were, if it were. The form, if I was, is very colloquial, therefore inappropriate when you are writing. Sometimes variations are also possible. Note that could describes imaginary ability and the form, if I were to do something, reinforces the fact that the situation is hypothetical. Now, what is the difference in meaning between these two sentences? To find out the answer to this question, Keep watching the videos in this playlist. Want to know more? Subscribe to On English Online on YouTube. Thanks for watching!